Hey Virgo, what is up? What is up? And welcome to your October love reading. This is for my gorgeous Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new, hello. My name is Svetlana. Go ahead, subscribe. We have fun here. But most importantly, what do we do here? <laughs> Uh, we heal, we expand our consciousness, and we elevate. That way we can shine our love and light onto others. Ooh, speaking of love, ayo. So they can shine their love and light because we are in this together. There is only oneness. When you level up, everyone around you um levels up. Look at that, Ace of Wands victory okay virgo i thought your season was over we're done celebrating you you're like nope <laughs> uh, nope um if you're returning i love you i appreciate you thank you so much for your support we are building something so beautiful here and i'm just grateful overjoyed and at peace at the same time mm. <laughs> all right let's go what do my virgos need to know for october we got page of wands beautiful your challenge seven of swords mm. we got the emperor beautiful the world wow we got ace of wands is back gorgeous oh, ace of cups is back can you tell i'm a virgo son we got five of swords we got the devil okay capricorn energy here queen of swords beautiful wow we got three cards making an appearance right back we got page of cups bottom of the deck um beautiful love here we got victory my only uh concern is the devil and the seven of swords which is what self-deceptive thoughts you might have about change here resisting change not wanting change to happen but guess what beautiful souls you cannot resist or um hold on right so let's go what's the seven of swords for my virgos here seven of swords we got temperance beautiful this is gorgeous we got the hierophant what wow we we wait wow we we wow wow we <laughs> You get three major arcanas right off the bat. Um, clarifying your challenge. We got the Magician, your card. We got the Hierophant Taurus, and we got Sagittarius. We need to learn how to go with the flow. Look at this. This is self-deceptive thoughts about the future, about the now, about the past. I don't know what you're thinking about, but this is false ego at play. We need to recognize what thoughts, cycles, whatever it is, doesn't serve us anymore. Because look, we are way too invested, bound, or... um dare i say addicted to a certain idea certain way of doing things and the universe is saying hey virgo release the grip go with the flow because guess what the sun is here ultimate happiness is on the journey it's not a destination right and you create that you're the magician you're the conscious creator <gasps> this is beautiful and look you have the page of uh ones in the center of your reading you want to go on a journey you want to do something and don't let your thoughts your false ego keep you uh down keep you stagnant what's five of swords you got victory your your final card is six of wands baby yeah beautiful oh we have a counterpart here we got king and queen of swords page of wands two of swords and pay uh five of um five of swords you could be waiting for communication from someone an air sign gemini libra or an aquarius this is why you're not making a decision yet you could be um you could be stagnating your growth too here virgo please 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 notice um notice what you replay in your head what what conversations you have in your uh mind and realize you're not your mind you're not your body right you're an energy of beautiful love and light and see what needs to be cut out because you do have the queen of swords here and she cuts out anything that doesn't serve her anymore we're gonna clarify the devil but it seems like um this a lot of swords here this could be and we virgos virgos come on as a fellow son virgo we have a tendency to overthink overanalyze which leads us to what to worry 
So let's see. Let's see. Well, let's see the world first. What's the world here? Wow. Three cards flew out. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. We have two of wands. Decision making. King of wands and knight of swords. You want to. You want to start a new chapter you really do you have you have the tenacity you have the passion to do so but you need to um Virgo you need to find your confidence you need to find your desire you need to come into your king of wands right you need to recognize that victory is ahead you don't have to force it you don't have to overthink it you don't have to um a lot of uh Virgos right now have a very certain idea about what it is they want or how it should look like or be shaped and if something doesn't go their way right what happens that's it we we go into this uh oh no wait what no, this is not right this is not it this is not my path these are the thoughts that are not the eye right so remember for every ending world is completion for every completion there's a new beginning so if you're still sitting here going well what about the past what about this what about that you are the one keeping yourself stagnant because look at this you want to go places you want to soar also you could have someone um really wanting to talk either you want to talk or they want to talk someone here really wants to talk let's see what the ace of cups is because you do have an ace of cups coming in five of pentacles someone feels left out in the cold Wow, we have another, we, two, we have two of pentacles now. So we have two of pentacles, two of swords, and two of wands. You have a, this two, two, two. You have communication coming in from uh, a nurse sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo here. Someone's feeling left out in the cold. You're going to be getting communication. And this, you see, this is the thing, though you keep you either then you start overthinking you start juggling right you start overthinking you're in your head you start overthinking you sit down make sure you don't fall this could be the toxicity that is around you um not uh making a decision basically i don't want to say indecisiveness but um letting your thoughts go wild if you will right so this is why it's so important to be grounded. Make sure you're grounded at this time, Virgo. Make sure you're outside me. Make sure you, uh, you're you doing earthing. Take your shoes off. Go on the ground. Energize. Because you do have the page of... Let's clarify this. What's the page of wands? Your overall energy. You're like a playful baby spirit over here. Baby duck. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. The Lovers the high priestess this is beautiful could be dealing with a gem a strong gemini taurus here and we got pisces you in order that whatever you want to pursue remember i said figure out what it is you want you need to tune into your intuition here virgo your your higher self right your higher self acting from your heart space thinking from your heart space because look where it's going to lead you. It's going to slowly but surely, don't rush it. It's going to lead you to a union or whether you're manifesting a balance within. Either way, you will get both, right? This is where it's, this is where, this is the beautiful concept that we have to grasp. When working on ourselves, we attract whatever beauty comes in, right? We don't have to force it. And remember, we got the temperance literally reminding us to go with the flow to accept the now don't overthink the past don't overthink the future be present in the now and then opportunities you will attract a lot of you are thinking 20 years ahead right 30 years or 30 years back so let's bring your attention on the now what's the devil here what's the devil what's the devil for my virgos the devil please we got the sun 
Wow, Leo energy. We got the Page of Cups. And we got the Queen of Cups. We got you on the bottom of the deck. We have the Hermit here. Okay, please, literally, please do not attach your happiness, your joy, your um, your emotional state to someone or some to someone offering you love or giving you love. Please, please, please recognize all the love you ever need is within you. You are the Queen of Cups, right? She is loving, she's giving, she's patient, she has empathy, she has compassion, and all of that is already within you. Remember, we could love someone, but that's just as deep, that's a reflection of us we see in them. So anyone right now who's in this Five of Pentacles and thinking uh, my other half, the other fiver is with someone else, and I'm waiting for them to offer me this so I can be happy, this is the toxicity, this is the ev devil uh, energy you attaching your happiness or your emotional mental state to someone else's actions you can't do it. if you do that you will never that's that's literally wow that's literally being bound that's not you're no longer consciously creating you're reacting right whatever they do or don't do the, you're you're placing your happiness in, on someone else you should please 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 virgo is not sure who needs to hear that you should never do that you should always recognize the love with it oh gee louis fill your own cup please fill your own cup with love and compassion virgos a lot of you are in the five of pentacles feeling lack left out in the cold you, uh, um what did i say get grounded cut out any negative thoughts negative thoughts you have um gathered up from whatever happened you have self-deceptive thoughts uh, thoughts creeping in. This is where you have to tap in into your queen of swords and cut it out. As soon as you become aware of your thoughts, when a negative thought arises, acknowledge it, no judgment, but do not feed into it. There you are, uh, Hermit Mo, you, shadow work, inner child work. Virgo, don't stop, don't skip steps now. Don't start, uh, don't start skipping steps. Queen of swords. Queen of Swords. What's the Queen of Swords here? For my Virgos. Queen of Swords, please. Thank you. The Hangman. You, there's something you're not seeing. The Empress, beautiful. <gasps> okay, two storylines here. <laughs> <laughs> could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra here another Piscean energy whatever you need to cut out or see or go within this is this is the opportunity to do so Virgo there's there's a shift of perspective that needs to happen here because right now you can't see or hear something and that's something I think comes from within because we do have the intuition card here we have the high priestess and it could indicate that you don't see your goodness, your light, your ability to create, to love. You're in the, right now, you could be in the uh, state of lack. And in the state of lack, you cannot manifest, you cannot be your beautiful empress mode. So once again, we're going back and we're cutting ourselves free from any negativity and false ego. Um, for the others, there's a past connection, six of cups here. I feel like uh, they're going through their own transformation. They're having a change of heart and they're coming in to talk. But once again, you cannot have your same state of mind, your same um, toxic behaviors, toxic thoughts um, be activated. Even if they come in, you, you're just going to repeat the past, right? What's the six of wands? What's the six of wands, please? We do have a counterpart now, though. Empress and Emperor. Cute. <laughs> What's the six of wands? Mm, Ace of cups again. Oh, I am done. I, the star. I'm so, should we look together? <gasps> what the devil? <gasps> Oh, that's funny. You know why it's funny? 
because it's reality. You have the devil here twice. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but that's besides the point. A lot of us are not healed yet. A lot of us still need a lot of healing to get to this victory, to get to this wish fulfillment and um, this Ace of Cups. Wow, wow, we, wow, we. Where's the, where's their cup? Where's the other? <laughs> Literally, look at this. We have two cups of love. We have a wish fulfillment and we have victory. But guess what's in the way here? We got some devil energy. We have some toxicity still attached that needs to be healed. Inner child work, shadow work, whatever needs to be done here. This needs to be addressed first. You cannot have a half empty cup come in with a full cup that there's no balance there. And we saw the lovers. Lover's card is all about harmony and balance. You want their cup to be full. You want your cup to be full in order for this to have beautiful harmony. This is gorgeous, but let's not ignore the elephant in the room. We got two devil cards, right? Codependency. Wow, thank you. <gasps> wow, that took me a while. Codependency could be the issue here, right? Relying your happiness on the other person to fill your own cup no 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 fill your own cup and then only then can we attract whatever it is we need to attract that's an equal balance right this is beautiful beautiful virgo keep filling your own cup keep nurturing yourself keep working on yourself everything else will fall into place and be in the full acceptance of the now that's um that's true happiness right and it's already within you there's no need to search for it once you come into the flow once you release control and start flowing with the universe that's when it all comes together thank you so much virgo wow beautiful reading if any of this resonated if you liked it uh leave a like comment subscribe hit the bell i love you i appreciate you namaste